Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Sniper Ghost Warrior contracts on the GTX 1060. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description and thanks to the publisher for providing a copy of the game. So on this card I'll show you two resolutions, 1080p and 1440p. I skipped other resolutions because 4K was unplayable even at the lowest settings, below 30 frames per second all the time. Then 900p didn't seem necessary. 1080p at very high settings was already over 60 very often. So yeah, I'll just show you two configurations for both 1080p and 1440p. Although at 1440p it was impossible to maintain 60 frames per second. So far I'm pretty disappointed with the options menu, despite it having many options, most of them don't do much, we only have medium, high and very high, we don't have more options than that. So yeah, basically there's no single option that will affect performance in a big way. I just recommend in this case to lower the presets instead of going through every single option. So yeah, that's my main recommendation. Other than that, if you want to do a little more tweaking, lower shadows, shading, shader quality, post-processing and the in-game effects. Lowering those options together usually gave me a noticeable difference in performance, but it wasn't a huge difference. Then on the presets side of things, by going from very high to high, it's where I noticed the biggest performance difference, although I have to admit the game doesn't look that different on the lowest settings compared to the highest. But again, the reason I'm disappointed with this menu is that there's a lot of options, yeah, but there's no huge difference in performance from going from the lowest to the highest. So at that point, I don't see the reason to get that many options if we're going to notice the biggest difference by lowering all the options together. Also, the game doesn't perform that well, at least in my opinion. Again, another thing that I was expecting, but considering it's CryEngine, I don't really think the game looks that good. There are better looking games that run significantly better than this and have more options in the menu. Usually the biggest performance impacts were when I was looking very far into the distance, which happens pretty often in this game, it's a sniping game after all, and also happens when there's a lot of foliage, particles on screen, so that's why I selected this area, there's a lot of vegetation, it's constantly snowing, and we're looking pretty far into the distance, so I thought it was pretty ideal to see the bigger impact on the GPU and CPU. Talking about GPU, if you have 2 gigs of VRAM, the game will be very unstable on 1080p, so make sure to play on 900p or 720p if you have 2 gigs of VRAM or less, this game doesn't have a texture quality option, unfortunately. So yeah, the first 2-3 minutes of the game will be a lot of stutter due to the game loading the new assets. After that, it should be totally fine. On their system RAM side of things, it was below 8 gigs of usage. And finally, on the CPU side of things, a modern quad-core CPU should be fine to hit 60 frames per second every now and then. But when you're looking very far into the distance, as I said, it was a big performance hit, the GPU usage can drop below 90% when you're targeting 60 frames per second. So in that case, the game will stay into the 50s instead of the 60s. So to avoid that, make sure to have a 6 Core i5 or Ryzen 5 CPU. That should usually get rid of the drops below 60 when looking into the distance. But yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
but there will be control. has a reputation for being thick-skinned. Perhaps they will have time to find an antidote. Impossible. None of the usual toxic treatment protocols will help them. Siberia's glorious leader is a good as... It seems that a lot of people want Ivanovsky dead. Which one are we? It seems that a lot of people want Ivanovsky dead. Which one are we working for? The one who's paying. Does it matter who? I've marked safe exit points on your map, should you choose to exfiltrate now. people want Ivanovsky dead. Which one are we working for? The one who's paying. Does it matter who or what they are? Indiv corporation or government? 